The mountain is one of the world's largest active volcanoes, officially known as a supervolcano. And if it were to erupt today, it's thought Yellowstone in the northwest of the U.S. could cause a catastrophic nuclear winter that could threaten the world. Now, scientists have revealed whether such a catastrophic event is getting closer to actually happening. Worryingly, their new study suggests Yellowstone's magma chamber is just 2.3 miles 3 .8 kilometers, or around 12,500 feet below the Earth's surface. That's about the same distance as Buckingham Palace and St. Paul's Cathedral in London. As the mountain hasn't erupted for around 640,000 years, some experts and locals believe the next eruption is a long time coming. However, the team aren't convinced it's imminent. Yellowstone, one of the most famous volcanoes on Earth, lies beneath a national park that spans three states, Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. There's a magma chamber there, pulsing with superheated molten rock and toxic gases like sulfur dioxide, SO2, and hydrogen sulfide, H2S. Scientists have long known the chamber existed, but they haven't been able to pinpoint its upper limits or pinpoint exactly what's inside. To learn more, scientists used hundreds of portable and truck-mounted seismometers to create 2D images of the ground beneath the Yellowstone caldera, a bull-shaped volcanic depression. Using artificial seismic waves, the team determined that a type of igneous rock called rhyolite makes up Yellowstone's magma chamber. The chamber spans an area 55 miles by 30 miles, stretching from 2.3 miles 3 .8 kilometers below Earth's surface to 10 miles below. Beneath it lies a larger magma reservoir made of low-silica basalt and containing less molten rock, according to a 2015 University of Utah study. The 25th episode of an ongoing eruption at Kilauea Volcano began Wednesday, sending a steady stream of lava rising ever higher. The U.S. Geological Survey said the current episode began at 11.57 a.m., and lava fountains from the north vent reached 1,000 feet high. A small water column, about 165 feet high, began erupting from the south vent around 1.30 p.m. The episode was preceded by periodic gas plumes from the north vent, with associated small fountains and lava flows, that began before dawn on Tuesday. Kilauea began its current eruption on December 23rd. Most episodes last a day or less, punctuated by lulls that generally last a few days. Initial activity for episode 25 began at Halamomo on the morning of June 10th. Scattered light and splashing at the north vent changed to more persistent splashing in the early morning hours. At about 5.54 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time, lava overflowed from the north vent cone and is currently flowing toward the crater floor. This activity can include spattering from the north and or south vents, small dome fountains, and lava flows from one or both vents. Early in previous episodes, initial activity has rapidly escalated to high lava flows that have lasted for minutes to tens of minutes. There was active lava flow visible on the USGS webcam Tuesday morning. On Monday, scientists speculated episode 25 would likely begin between June 11th and June 13th, based on the current peak inflation rate. This window is subject to change depending on changes in the inflation rate, the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory said. The UWD tilt meter, near Wekahuna, has recovered about 11 microradians of tilt since the end of episode 24 and the tilt meter near Sandhill, SDH, has recovered 8 microradians. As a result, the estimated window for episode 25 has been slightly shorter since yesterday and is currently between Wednesday, June 11th and Friday, June 13th. The window may change depending on changes in the inflation rate. <laughs>